Hello everybody, today we are going to install Compass and we will also integrate it inside the great ID which is called NetBeans. Okay, so how to do it? We are on the website, on the Compass website and we are in the top in the category for uh, installing. And as you can see here it is said that you have to install R Ruby first. I assume that you have got it already installed, you have got also installed the SAS because you know it is the thing that you have to know before even attending to this course, right? If you do not know how to do it we, inside the NetBeans, I added the bon bonus section for you so you can just see how I did it. So do not worry, so do it now if you haven't and then come back. Okay, so right now you should install the compass how to do it well in order to do it we are typing uh, in the windows here uh, cmd so we, we are in the command prompt and as you can see here we can type things like game update system this thing is gonna update our ruby environment so do it if uh, you have some old version we do not need to do it so i won't type it here we just need to word install compass. So I will just type something like that and I will wait a second. Because right now we are connecting to that website where the compass is and as you can see uh, the installation is successful. The cool thing about it is that now it works fine but there might be some people who have problem with SSL because Ruby is changing some things with uh, right now. And if you have problem like that, you can download it using game source and type something like that. Because of it, you will not use the SSL version, but you know, it's not so secure. Or you can just go to the website like that. You can save this file and you should just paste it to the folder where you have got your Ruby and everything will work fine. If you are the guy who has this problem, I also added the text version uh, how to do it so don't worry you can you can just put these things uh, here and everything will work fine okay so i assume everything is working fine now let's go to the netbeans and let's use compass because you know uh, it is the thing that we want to do right so uh, we have got here a project and in order to use inside the project inside netbeans uh, the compass you need to go to the properties and to the CSS preprocessors and here you need to only add something like compass it is so easy right and now you need to go just here and you need to just import import compass and now we can use compass pretty easy isn't it and the cool thing is that right now Compass is also watching for the changes like in the SAS. That means it's just so cool, really. Okay, so uh, let's go to the index. As you can see, we have got here a paragraph and let's change it a bit. So let's check if it's working. For example, I will type here to pixel solid black border. As you can see, here it is. And now we'll go, for example, to the code reference and then go to the CSS3 and we, for example, want to use the border radius. You can read about it. As you can see, we should use the import like that. If you use import like that, then we will import only this thing. But you know, I'm realizing that I'm importing everything. Um, I do not care about performance because everything is done uh, before sending to the <laughs> website, so I do not care about it. I don't want to lose my time every time changing things. My computer uses also fast enough to, to not care even uh, if it imports all <laughs> composite ones, right? <laughs> so I'm just importing everything here. And now, bam, uh, we can use the border radius, how to do it. We have got here examples. So in order to do it, we type include, so it is a mixing, then we type border radius, and then we can what? Include border radius, type the argument here, for example, 8 pixels, bam, as you can see, now we have got here a border radius. If I did not import compass, as you can see, it's not working, so yeah, I have to do it. As you can see, at the output, we have got vendor prefixes added here, so everything is working fine. 
and that's how <laughs> well compass is working the one thing that he does for you is that it is also including for example vendor prefixes i will talk about this later more right uh, don't worry about it but there is a cool thing look right now when we are want to use the compass we have to add this thing here every time to each of pro the project right but i think uh, we are lazy people <laughs> Every programmer is a lazy person and we should just go to here to the options and just do something like that, apply, okay, and then it will work with all the projects you have. Well, probably when you start using Compass, you want to have it in all projects. Uh, if there is a project you do not want it, you will just not import it. So <laughs> I think it's just easier and then you will not need to remember about adding this thing here, right? Uh, so it's a good shortcut and as you can see it's still working okay so we know how to install compass let's have fun with it right in the next lessons thank you very much